What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to take a look at the Fans Hobby and Chosen Prime exclusive from TF Toronto 2023 Huntsman or their version of a G1 Stalker. So I've fallen behind a little bit on this review. Uh, I got this actually uh, basically a, a week ago at this point and didn't get a chance to finish the review but this is of course a retool of the Fans Hobby Double Agent, which is their version of a double dealer. And they've changed some parts on them, so I want to just point them out because people thought, me, hey, this is just a repaint. Um, it actually, it is a repaint, in, in fact, but it's actually a retool as well. So you can see right away the wheels haven't changed. So not only are they kind of pushed out this way, but they have this cover along the side. The back wing section here is no longer a wing section, actually. So you can see they just have the front half of it. Uh, and then we have the colors here that show up. Um, so they don't turn into wings. They've actually removed the bird head. So here's the bird head. You can see that there. They they've taken that out. That's not needed for this robot. So that's also removed. Uh, and then we'll see another change when we get to robot mode. Uh, but basically the chest and the head have also been changed. Um, so a lot of the rest of what you're seeing is in factory colors, but there's quite a few retools too. Another thing they've done is they give us some new parts. So we get this radar dish, which was on the original Stalker figure. And I'll put that up here so you can take a look at it. But this has a couple places you can go. It can go either here or here. I'm just going to put it on this side for now. And so you get that nice radar dish or satellite, whatever it is. Then you get eight of these missiles, which are newly sculpted just for this figure. And there's a couple places you can go is on the wheel wells. There's two spots on each wheel. And then you can put the others either on top or you can come up, up to here and put them up here. The only thing is you can't have the missile and the radar dish on this side. Uh, you just can't fit both, so you'll have to put one either down here or whatever you know makes sense for you. But you do get a little bit of options there for the missiles. I do think that looks really cool with all of that. And of course, we also get the Power Master here, done in the new colors here. It does have the painted. Come on, let's focus. I have the painted gold for the chest and then the gold and green for the face mask. Here's the back. Here's the original in case you're wondering. It is exactly the same mold. Just changed paint color. Of course, appropriate for this character. That does look good. He can kind of ride alongside or he can sit inside. So if you come to here, open this up. And open up this and while we're here might as well take a look so you can see it says MB 19c 346 out of 600 so they are individually marked so you can tell which copy you have out of 600 which is kind of cool you can open this up and I really think it's nice that they went through the trouble to individually mark these exclusives which makes it truly exclusive there's not a lot of companies and a lot of retailers doing that anymore. It's going to turn the legs to the side and then you can turn them back to the front, bend them underneath. You can take the arms and we're going to bend those upwards. So you can kind of have his hands on the radar dish here. And then we can close this back down, close that back down. That's going to sit back here. I knocked the missile out, so let's put the missile back. And now he can drive around I think that's really neat. I, I just like the way it looks. But that is the same as the original. You can have him driving around. Uh, we also have an option here for the missile. So if we want, we can put batteries in here. So there's a battery compartment right here. All right, and there it is with the three batteries in there. You can go ahead and replace battery cover. And then this has two modes. So you can either press it once and you'll get the pulsing rear thruster look there. Press it two times and then you'll get the front pulsing. So you can kind of choose between those. Um, for this mode it makes the most sense to have it on the rear. 
because you have that. Missile's kind of getting ready to take off. And we can set that there, and now we can drive around like that, which is pretty cool. We'll turn this off for now. You can also take this missile, you can fold that up. Come to the back here, you can open up these doors, come to the bottom, and we're gonna fold down these panels here. See them on this side. Then we're gonna open up these so that they sit. And make sure these are aligned so they're at the same, you know, same length. Open these up as well. And now this is gonna sit right in that little, the grooves in between there. So get that in there, and I do find it, it likes to, actually sorry, you want these closed. Close that up, and then these can kind of hold it into place. It's not the best fitment, and it does tend to kind of rock around on it. It's not solid, um, but it does work. I do think it looks good. You can have that sort of launching mode, and it's ready to launch the missile. Right before we get him transformed into the robot mode, I just want to show you, you can have this kind of fan mode where you have the hand holding it. And it kind of is cool because you can like angle it whatever direction you want. You can have it straight up or kind of forward. Or if you prefer, you can just flop, flop it around and have it sitting like that. So it's actually like ready to launch or launching backwards. So just another little fan mode thing you can do. Uh, just do the way it's designed. Now, it is relatively the same transformation as the original, uh, but there's a couple of changes. One is obviously these wheel covers are going to uh, be a little bit different than the original. Um, these are very similar, but slightly different. Uh, and then the these panels here actually have a new securing tab right here. So that's a new piece which helps to secure it to the backpack. Um, so other than that, it's pretty much the same. So I am going to do this transformation in fast forward just because it is pretty much the same. And I will point out where these things are different. So let's get them transformed. All right, and there we have Huntsman in his robot mode. It's really good looking. I love the color scheme here and the contrast of the new watermelon colors with the gold looks really good. You got the gold face mask there. It is a brand new head sculpt. I'll actually put the old one there so you can take a look. Um, but brand new head sculpt with that neon green, gold, and then red here for the head crest. The head itself is also a new sculpt on the helmet. Gold here and a little spot for a symbol. You can put an Autobot symbol there if you like. Same gold here on the Power Master with the chrome there. Nice paint here on the hip skirts. I believe that design is the same as the original. Green here which replaces the teal on the original. I did take off the missiles in my transformation, quick transformation there, but you can leave them on. You don't have to take them off. And then these can also stay here on the side. You're going to have to take those off. The ones that do have to come off, but you can kind of fake them into place, is these two. So these are actually mounting here on what it was originally on the top of the vehicle. Now, there is a panel here. I don't know what it's for. I, I can't seem to find a, a use for it in robot mode or vehicle mode. Um, it doesn't seem to do anything here as well, so I'm not really sure 
what the intended purpose is. I didn't find that pen on the original, but if you want, you can kind of store the missiles there on the inside. It's a little bit wonky, but you can put them away like that. And yeah, you have full weapon storage for all these new missiles. Now, he wouldn't be complete without his radar dish, so let's bring that in. And on the original toy, you can put it here. And same thing here, there's two spots. And it just so happens that fits, that was the original mold, fit the missile. So that now fits the radar dish. And then we can also take the missile here. And we can pull that apart. Extend this piece here to get the full gun. That can go into his hand. And then this, you're going to extend this piece here. Get that little extension that fits right here on the opposite side. And now we've got that G1 Stalker look here. That's really, really cool. For people who are a fan of this character, they really nailed it with this. It's a very good use of the remold to do this. Um, you can also, if you don't like this, if you already want something different, you can do one other thing. You can take this out, open these up, and just flip these to the back for now. You can take this missile and this will fit right here and just get that attached to its original location then these can come down and just sit right outside like that and now he has a little backpack missile so you can have that look as well but some nice options there and of course you can use the laser option here for the gun so you can be Shooting some bad guys. Alright, and there's Huntsman next to the original double agent figure. And you can see they have remolded some parts on this guy. So let's come in a little bit closer. You can see the chest is a brand new sculpt and obviously painted differently. You have the new radar dish here, which actually fits in the original. So if you wanted to swap parts, you can get that radar dish over there. The missile is the same. Just painted and using a different translucent green plastic here. The gun is also the same, same features and everything. Coming down to the legs, I did rotate the legs here. This is not how double agents should be configured. It's supposed to have the waist flipped around. So you have this hip skirt showing and then the legs are supposed to be rotated so that you have the wheels facing forward. That is how it looked in the cartoon, so that's how they have it. But for the purpose of demonstrating the differences, I just wanted to show you, here's how it's configured the same as Huntsman. And you can see the wheels on the legs are what's new. They've put that new part there. Coming to the back, we can see the backpack is different. They've gotten rid of uh, a whole bunch of the pieces of the wings. So it does transform a little bit differently um, ultimately, the base of it is the same, but the extension pieces here are, have been all been removed. And then the actual head, which is being hidden here, the bird head, has been removed. So they did do quite a bit of retooling and, you know, basically deleting of parts to get it to um, produce this character. But um, I think it's just smart, smart engineering there uh, to reuse it this way. So final recommendations on the Fans Hobby and Chosen Prime exclusive Huntsman. I'm going to give this a 4 to 5. I'm going to recommend it. I think this was a really smart use of this mold. Uh, especially since it's not just repainted. They retooled it heavily. Uh, you got the new wheel wells here on the front and back. You got the new missile parts here which were unique for just for this mold. They made it. The new radar dish here which I think is perfect for this character. Uh, and then they did get rid of a bunch of the bird parts, which I think is actually makes sense because it makes his transformation a little bit simpler, right? He gets get rid of all the extra wing parts you don't need here. He gets rid of the bird head, which allows you to store these missiles in here. Now I did contact KRI Robot because I wasn't sure where are these are supposed to go. I just found that spot. It's not in the instructions, but it does seem to to work there. Um, so yeah, overall I think it's a really smart retool and a smart thing to do as an exclusive. 
especially if you're a fan of this character, um, we haven't really gotten a version of this character, right? Since the original toy, there's never been one. So it's nice to get an updated version of uh, Stalker. And I just think overall, this is a really good use of this mold. So that's it for today. Thanks to the Chosen Prime and Get Right Robot for uh, creating such a thing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.